Hi. Um, I'm Sarah Sophie. We're here with Romy and Matar. Hi. Hi. And we're still talking about skin types, foundation, concealer, and sort of what are you looking for when um, you're looking for a foundation or just some general coverage on your skin? I'm usually looking for something that will not cover my freckles. Yeah, because they're so cute. But will still give an even tone. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that, Romy? Well, I'm so glad that you said that because I would never cover your freckles. I think they're so beautiful. Me um, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this color correcting stick, which is basically like a, a CC. It's like part of the BB family. What is a CC? You know, BB is beauty balm, CC is color correcting. Um, there's like a little bit of a green cream in the middle, which kind of can fight redness, okay. et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it also has SPF 20, which is amazing. Um, and it, the color is rich medium, and I'm just going to literally apply it with my finger, kind of blend it together, the green color corrector with the color, and it's a very sheer formula. And even with a stick like that, you wouldn't go directly onto the face? No, I never go directly onto never the face. go directly onto the face. I like to always use my finger first. And you see it's so sheer yeah. that um, you can see, still see all of Matara's beautiful freckles. Yay. It's giving her a kind of evenness to her skin. Um, and as we've already mentioned, Matara has beautiful skin. Uh, just like a little bit of unevenness and and I think that for sure the the SPF is certainly something that's very important to you since um, you do have so many freckles you definitely want to watch the Sun and be mm -hmm. careful in the Sun as we all should so once again in this situation she would have a sunscreen underneath and then this is just adding correct an extra layer of protection great <laughs> So as you can see, you know, it just evens Matar's skin a little bit, but you still see her beautiful freckles shining through. Mm -hmm. So Matar, to really emphasize that you want to keep this formula very sheer, you could go in with a moist beauty blender uh -huh. and kind of just press into the skin and sheer out the, and the product. And that's a good thing to do if you ever like over apply Definitely. a foundation you can go in and sort of thin it out. Definitely. Okay. This will be your best friend. Cool. <laughs> so next, um, um, Matar, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on you. This is like a highlight concealer pen. This is one of the best in the business. I love it. Um, it's one of my favorites. It's a staple for me at work. It's always in my purse. It's an emergency. It's in everything. And this is from By Terry. Mm -hmm. um, this one is called Touche Expert Advanced uh, Correction Ultra Radiance Active Concealer, and the color is number three. So it's just one color that I need? This is, you only need one color of this. It comes in a range of colors. Okay. For you, you only need number three. Okay. So I'm going to apply it directly. Stop the presses. So yes. with this, you can direct. go direct onto skin. Direct. It has a brush on the end. Okay, is, is that why? Um, it's all, it's not just because it has a brush, but it's also because, well, it's because it has a brush, it's because the formula is very thin. Okay. Um, so it's hard to over apply. Okay. You know, you only need, after you kind of start your concealer pen, you only need one click. Good to, to know. Go. Okay. You don't want to over click unless it's really feels dry and then you can click some more. So I'm going to start the inner corner of your eyes. And I will say I was on a photo shoot one time and something terrible happened, but um, I had to redo my whole makeup and all I had was this and I used it as a foundation and a concealer and it came out looking pretty fantastic. Yeah. It's a great product. It's a really great product. So I, after applying it with a brush, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and blend it out mm -hmm. with the pad of my ring finger right into the corner of the eye right into the corner of the eye so it kind of brightens and it doesn't look like you are wearing anything and you can take the excess from your finger and just go around your nose and sometimes I even go on these kind of little Marionette lines. I hate that word, but anyway, it's really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> it is depressing. It's, but 
you know, it's, I don't know what else to call it. But there it is. <laughs> These lines, the laugh lines. Yeah, that's better. Or this area, because you don't really have any lines, but if you want to just kind of brighten this area up a little mm -hmm. bit, you can just put a little bit in there, and then again, just the excess from your finger, you just kind of blend around, and that's it. Pretty. You're done. And you would use the same one for night or day? Yes. Okay. Yes. Anything that looks good on you in the daytime in terms of your foundation or your concealer will look perfect at night. Because in the day is when it's daylight and when you know everyone can see everything. Mm -hmm. So if it looks good in the day, it's gonna look even better at night. And you can always layer if you feel like Absolutely. you need to. Wow, this is really good. Can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask the same thing. Because it's sheer, but it's not really blocking my skin. Yeah. Right. So that's it's like a second skin. That's what you want, exactly. Nice. Couldn't have said it better. Thank you. Thanks, my heart. Thank you.